that we're doing is Pampers. My name is Huda. Our buyer is Ricky and our seller outside is Ricardo. <coughs> okay, so I wanted to talk a little about Procter & Gamble first. Procter & Gamble is a Fortune 500 American global corporation that manufactures a wide range of consumer goods. They're actually the 23rd largest U.S. company by revenue and the 14th largest by profit. And in the um, Fortune 500, it's the 10th most admired company, and that was on the list in 2007. So Pampers is a popular brand of disposable diapers marketed by Procter & Gamble. And it's actually one of their billion-dollar brands. And Pampers doesn't only do diapers, they do a variety of products. So here's what we're going to be selling. It's a Pampers-sensitive wipe. Okay. So Pampers is affiliated with a number of organizations, the March of Dimes being one of them. And they just had an event in San Diego a couple weeks ago. Dr. Taylor, a well-known doctor at Kindred Hospital in La Jolla, was impressed with what Pampers had to offer. So he helped in the process of setting up an appointment with the Pampers representative and his hospital senior buyer. Okay, so here's Kindred Hospital and the meeting of the senior buyers, 2.15 Tuesday afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Smith. Good afternoon. My name is Ricardo. I'm the Procter & Gamble representative with Pampers Baby White. And thank you for um, taking the time out of your day to meet with me. Oh, no problem. I imagine uh, Dr. Taylor has told me so much about your facility. And I recently read in a magazine, the Children's Magazine, that you earned the number three ranking in the nation. So congratulations on that. Yes, thanks. We take great pride in our doctors like Dr. Taylor, and uh, I know we're number three now. Hopefully we'll have number one in there. Mm -hmm. And with such, with such a high ranking, your facility only deserves the best product. And um, so yeah, I, I totally agree. We strive for the best. Sure. If I can take a couple of notes. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. So, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Uh, what are you currently using as a method to wipe your newborns? Well, currently we're using warm water and a paper towel. And for how long have you been using this method for? Uh, since the hospital was open, I believe. All right, that's true for many hospitals. The paper towel and warm water have been the gold standard for other hospital and clinics that I visited. They tell me even after they wipe their newborns, their skin becomes irritated, leading to a diaper rash. And did you know that using standard warm water and a paper towel doesn't prevent diaper rash and may cause future complications? No, I didn't know that. I always thought the diaper rash was caused by leaving a baby in a soiled diaper too long. I didn't know it could be uh, Yes, you are partially correct. The soiled diaper is a very harsh environment for the newborn's underdeveloped skin. And when skin is exposed to a soiled diaper for too long, it becomes red and irritated. <coughs> and do your newborn suffer from this? Well, yeah, it's prevalent, but you know, it doesn't happen 100% of the time. But yeah, it exists. Uh, that's because the paper towel doesn't do anything to benefit your skin. It just wipes the area clean. And wouldn't it be beneficial for your newborn's skin in operation of your facility? if we could eliminate most of the rash and skin irritation? Yeah, it'd be, a, it'd be an improvement in my mind, but improvement nonetheless, for sure. And um, would it be beneficial if we could um, reduce it at a very small price? Oh, yeah. Well, price is always a factor. And, uh, sure. Okay. So if I can introduce you today a new pamper sensitive baby wipe that can virtually eliminate all diaper rash and skin irritation, would you be interested? Yeah, let's see what you got. Well, we have the uh, Pamper Sensitive Baby Wipes offers many chemical agents that are beneficial for the newborn <coughs> skin. And it also has a droplet of the Metacone Mole, and that's one of the main active ingredients used in our superior product. Okay. And if you look over here, as you can see from the results from our scientific study, proving a better buffering capacity and how it reduces the high pH levels caused by um, paper down to normal ones. That's a impressive statistic. What do you got down here? Um, it's just the comparison to the different brands like Huggies, Silk, Pampers, and we're the leading one that brings it down to the normal pH level. Oh, that's good. Well, those are impressive. That's a lot. <coughs> you have to weigh it by what we're using right now. And um, so can you see how the product will cause less skin irritation, avoiding a harmful rash? Yeah, if these statistics are true, I think uh, I can see that's a pretty straightforward. And do you think your facility would, could benefit from that? Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a level up from what we're doing right now. Uh -huh. And obviously, we'll see. I'll leave you with that. Yeah, and I actually yeah. brought my product, so you can check it out. Okay. <coughs> All right. Well, here's a packet of the Pampers Sensitive Baby Wipes. If you want to grab one. Yes. Here you go. All right, and then it's also resealable, so it can fold into moisture so it won't dry out as well. Okay. And what you're feeling right now is a spun lace technology. And um, 
it allows for a more durable but yet still disposable wipe. And so when you're wiping the newborn, it won't tear. And so can, can, can you see how this um, will benefit your facility? Yeah, I mean, we could definitely benefit from the strong wipe. This looks quality. I mean, the thickness, I can feel the wetness. And you got the discs there, but I mean, how am I supposed to know what these statistics are true and it'll really prevent dive rash like 100% like you say? Well, I totally understand. Um, but on behalf of Procter and & Gamble and Pampers, we're going to give you a week's supply for free so you can test them out and you can evaluate them for your facility to see how well they're working. And then you can test them out for us and just let us know some feedback. But we do stand 100% with our product, so, <coughs> uh, um, so that should yeah, be any concern. Well, I like free and uh, that seems like there's no risk involved. Definitely. So let me go, um, so let's just go over um, how these high quality things are like will help create a healthier environment and introduce mothers to a new improved child care product and increase your facility's positive image. Okay, later. All right, so we all know that your facility is well known for their high level of patient care. Yeah, definitely. And number three in the nation. Uh huh. So, um, and then, um, so we all know the high level of patient care, right? Definitely. And then how will this affect the babies, though? Um, well, it will help, uh, it will introduce the new mothers to the um, best product. And then, um, it, and then they can carry on outside the hospital and use them in their homes. Well, yeah, totally. I mean, if I was going to have a kid, I'd probably use these wipes. Definitely love love from the paper towel. But, uh, yeah. So. All right. So, um, can I go ahead and write you a shipment? Well, hold on a second. I have a few questions to ask you. Now, obviously, we've been using paper towel more than a lot of product. I mean, that seems to be being fine, but I don't know if we need an upgrade, even though this is pretty impressive. Yeah, I completely understand how you feel. I've had other customers such as Sherry De Jones, the director of prenatal care at Apple Hospital. Yeah. Yeah, good friend of mine. Okay. And uh, she had the same concern until she found out the number of scientific studies proving a better buffering capacity and how it reduces the levels of pH. And I've also and I've also previously worked with Kaiser Sharp in general. And from my review of your hospital, I have a pretty good understanding of your cleaning of procedures. That's, now that's pretty incredible. I mean, she's a good friend of mine, but you, I know that she's been using it for a long time and she says it works, it probably does. But you know, I have to tell you the truth, it isn't really much of a problem here in this facility. It exists, but you know, not much of a problem. I don't know if it's... Much of a problem? What do you mean by that? Well, it's, it's not life-threatening, you know, it does occur sometimes. I don't know if we need to incur the extra cost just to eliminate something from the process. You are right. Hospitals do have major concerns other than diaper rash, but eliminating diaper rash do have the advantages of... And, uh, if babies suffering from a diaper rash are often fussy, showing extreme signs of discomfort by crying frequently. And isn't that important to you other senses, but it's not your biggest sense? Well, yeah, totally. I mean, a healthy environment for the baby makes the mothers happy. And I guess you put it that way. It's a small improvement, but an improvement nonetheless. Now, I do have one other thing. I know you guys are a huge company. I'm kind of worried about going to Fortune 500, Fortune 500 Fortune 500 company, like you guys, I'm kind of worried about customer service and if you're going to be there for me, you know, oh, you shipments and stuff. Are you, um, I, I don't quite understand what you're saying. You think we won't give you exceptional service like to the other companies that are really big? Yeah, like if I was going to go to the small company. Right. So the fact that we are a big, well-known company is the exact reason you should buy from us. We have built our reputation on exceptional service year after year. And as you mentioned, we are ranked number 10 in the Fortune 500. And that ranking, um, exceptional service plays a major role in that ranking. It's not just numbers. Okay. Well, if you put it that way, I mean, I'm really impressed by your free trial period, so... Okay. So, should I just write it for this location or all three in order for them? No, I still got to think about it. Yeah, we, we take it slower at this hospital. Oh. I got to talk about stuff. <laughs> there must be something holding you back. May I ask you what it is? Well, there actually one, is one thing. You know, I have an appointment with Huggy as your competitor. I don't want to tell you that tomorrow. You know, I want to see my options. And another thing, they said, a lot of my customers say that Huggies are, they prefer them to Pampers, even like they prefer Huggies and Costco, even our Pampers, like your Pampers. Well, definitely, um, that's that, that's their choice. But right over here on the statistics, I also have Huggies, and if you can see them, Huggies Supreme, and also the other one, we we beat them out by a lot. They're they're the second to last yeah, worst one. I guess I mean, the best. I guess the free trial is going to have to show me, you know, yeah, what the sure. treatment is. If these statistics hold true to what I see in the hospital, then I'll believe it. Yeah. I mean, is there anything else? Uh, no, I thought five thumbs it up, the Huggies was the only thing. Oh, okay. So, should we raise you down for this, this hospital or all three locations? Uh, you know what? Because of the free trial, it's right up for all three and they can all test out. Okay. Right. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Alright.